All right, scenario number one, Vanilla Hills. Do you guys remember that one? Is anything looking familiar so far? We got Vanilla Hills, Gold Rush, of course, Checkered Flag, Box Office, Fright Night, and Go With The Flow. You know, Roller Coaster Tycoon is amazing because it did pave the way for games like Planet Coaster. And, of course, uh, I didn't really like the style of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 as much for the kookiness of some of the buildings and such for the uh, shops. But it definitely, definitely was a good game, and I really enjoyed it. All right, uh, you know what, actually, just a real quick thought. You know what, this reminds me of Frontier Forest and also, uh, what was it called, uh, Dynamite or something? Or whatever the desert map was. I really enjoyed that in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. I forgot the name. Yeah, Dynamite Dunes. That's what it was. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, and here we are, Vanilla Hills. The Vanilla Hills are the starting port to your medi mediocre... Oh, wait, that's not mediocre, but yeah. Welcome to the Mediocre Channel. Uh, let's see. Rise to Roller Coaster Tycoon status. Can you turn this plot into the peeps talk of the town? Your rating apprentice on entrepreneur tycoon depend on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, I can already see the first things that need to go. We got to get rid of these trees here in the middle. And we need to definitely get rid of the uh, little forest up here. And uh, we have ourselves uh, this is a pretty decent ride here. Pretty cool. The little thing that goes over the water. Also known as the tumbler. Oh, yeah, that iconic uh, sound effect when you get close, of course, of all the different music and such. You can have music in the queue. And uh, that was not new to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but I love it. Same with Planet Coaster 2, it's there as well. All right, and we have ourselves a little uh, airplane roller coaster, too. All right, here's my plan for this map, right? I think what I want to do is build some, let's see, roller coasters like on either side, and then fill in like some. Uh, rides and maybe put in some water or something like here or maybe on the other side and uh all right i'm gonna build and then you guys can enjoy i'll do some commentary over it and we'll see the finished product after the end of the speed build here we go all right so like i mentioned i wanted to remove some sections in the map that really just didn't really serve a purpose they're here for like a nature reserve or something but nature's got to make way for roller coasters baby so get out of there Gonna delete some trees too around the center section and really clear up the map a little bit for thrill rides and then of course roller coasters too. Roller coasters uh, are a big part of the game, hence Roller Coaster Tycoon, so we'll need some space for that. But really to get the money to make the roller coasters, we're also going to need to uh, build some thrill rides. So I wanted to redecorate and also extend uh, some areas here and uh, make some pathways for future food courts and rides and to get everybody off the main path in the center of the park and bring them out to the outsides of the park and then make some areas for like I mentioned food courts and areas to bypass the main uh, walkways so that way everybody's not in one spot uh, eventually we'll get probably about 700 to a thousand people in the park so it's gonna be really good to keep them fed too so we're gonna build a food court here one thing I had forgotten about in this game is that once you put down a food court building or like a drink stall or, or anything like that. You need to open it. Same with bathrooms. So it'll be a while till I remember to do that. But at least uh, we'll have the layout ready. And of course the restaurants will be there. And everything will have a place. I always like in this game to build large food courts. Rather than just spacing out the drink stalls and stuff. All in different areas. Because it's kind of cool to see all the people gather up in one spot. We're also going to try to put down. Uh, like I tried to do there. An information booth. And also umbrellas and things like that. Though it doesn't rain too often in this map as it would in uh, some other maps too. So uh, let's see what we're gonna do next. Looks like a little decoration for the uh, roller coaster here. Maybe some customization for it. Actually, we're raising prices in order to get some uh, more money in here so that way we don't have to take out a loan until a little bit later. We're not making too much cash at the moment, so uh, of course to increase the uh, ride prices, since we can't upgrade the entrance price will be a good thing to do. Gonna make some rides over here too. Maybe we can put a couple of thrill rides over in the corner and then decorate around it and then try to put some more gentle rides in the center of the park. Trying to attract families and teens and people who also like high intensity rides too. Nothing in this park is going to be too intense though. We will have room for uh, some other roller coasters later. We're gonna, we're gonna probably add two other roller coasters to the map and I'd love to add the log flume if it became unlocked but unfortunately it won't. Well, it looks like we're gonna start with the Enterprise then and. I think we'll also get the uh, swinging uh, chairs as well and uh, see if we can add those basically like an extreme carousel ride. I'm going to make the queue for this one a little longer too. This thing can seat quite a few people so it's a really good ride to get at the start 
to get a lot of people through the park as quickly as possible. I've also noticed that there's a lot of uh, native trees around the map too, so we're going to decorate with all sorts of uh, pine trees and oak trees in between those queues, and it's really going to look nice when we get everything all sorted. Also, the queues look pretty gross with their black and gray colors, so we're going to brighten them up a little bit by making them look red and white like the uh, top of the carousel too. Kind of a circus feel to our lovely park so far. All right, people are coming in. That's good news. People are definitely coming in, and we're going to now start decorating. I had an idea to make the entire pathway uh, kind of with these trees. I liked when I did that, and it's not perfect. I wanted some spaces between them, too, and so we're going to make that the uh, kind of main entrance of the whole park all the way to the end, the uh, Maiden Street or the Midway or whatever you want to call it that goes all the way down the center of the park into uh, yet another uh, smaller, like, looks to be a garden area with the two statues. Going to decorate here with some trees and throw a fence around this and also add some other trees around. You can really see how Planet Coaster was influenced by this, and uh, later on I find that there's rocks but in a different section of the game. So even this game has rocks and trees and bushes that you can put down in greater detail than the previous roller coaster games. Speaking of roller coasters, I think it's about time we build one. We're going to have to put one down here. We'll start with a junior coaster and then add a spinning coaster later. I was also trying to see if we could find to put in a log flume, but unfortunately it didn't unlock in time. And this is my first time playing in a very long time, so I didn't remember where the research and stuff was. Really just going with the flow of whatever unlocked and whatever it unlocked, just trying to enjoy it as is. The one pro tip is to basically go in and uh, change that research right away to things like thrill rides, roller coasters, whatever you plan to build first, or maybe food stalls if you don't have any of those unlocked. Built a little pond here, looks good. The water in this game is uh, kind of neat, so we're going to build a little island out in the center just to put some trees and some uh, other stuff on and uh, it should look pretty nice. And we'll add some rocks and things later and also paint the outside of it so it looks more realistic. And uh, there we go, a few bushes and some trees to go in the center. Also, I found that hedge there a moment ago, and that hedge is going to be a big part of our park as I'm going to try to put hedging along all of the pathways or bushes to make it look really nice and link things together and uh, really add some nice uh, flower beds too to everything. Gonna add the uh, whatever this ride is here, the, the sling ride that goes up high into the sky. And that's gonna be really cool next to the water. It's gonna be a good spot for it because you'll be able to look down and see all the park and see the water below and it'll give you something to look at rather than just the mundane landscape around of all the trees and forests. Gonna extend those tree lines down in the center too and make that a little bit better towards the end. Roller coaster time, about time. Let's go ahead and get building this one. We're going to also add some uh, mountains to this and make it look a little more hilly inside of the uh, junior coaster area. And we should be able to have like three or four trains of three or four cars going on this one. So it'll have a high throughput. And a lot of my lines are not going to be too uh, beefy. The goal is to not get people to wait in line, but really to get them on the rides and out as quickly as possible, especially since these rides are the only way that we're going to make money. So as quickly as we can bring people through, uh, we'll be able to make more cash, which will then allow us to course spend that on our next roller coaster so um in this game it really feels like if you've played more modern games like uh, park attack it really feels a lot like that roller coaster tycoon 3 really influenced a lot of building games a lot of building games not just roller coasters but of course management games and uh, other genres too uh, things that were not as uh, you know roller coastery like golfing and such and those became good games too Really liking how this roller coaster looks so far. A couple of bumps, a couple of turns, and uh, yeah, a few more uh, little humps here and there to try to get that uh, vertical and horizontal uh, G's going around the turns and around the inclines, and we'll swing, swing around to the back. This one's not going to be too long, but of course, adding little trees and mountains and decorations around it really increases the enjoyable uh, nature of the roller coaster as, of course, the more stuff people have to look at and the more immersive the ride becomes. Boom, we connect that one all the way back. And then of course we'll start painting it too. I don't know why everything starts out just like pure pitch black in this game, but I'm just assuming that it's reminding you to be uh, mindful that you can paint everything. I think in the previous games, um, wooden roller coasters would start out as like a wood color or maybe they'd be painted uh, white. And I think junior coasters would be like red. But in this one, I think it just starts as a default primer color so that way you can paint things. But red looks pretty good here. and fiddling around with things like the lighting. 
I think the cars look good though, as the uh, blue and the, the red and the yellow and all that go together quite nicely. So we'll connect this one up and we should be able to open it. And I also do rename some of these rides and adjust the prices too. So that way we can at least make a little bit of money. Not too much though. I still want to get more people into the park. A couple of things for this um, level of the game is to really just get enough people into the park uh, to accomplish certain goals. So now we're raising t uh, the landscape around there. Terraforming. And we'll add some trees and stuff very shortly. I always miss the birds flying over too. All those birds you may have saw a second ago. Flying over the top of the map. Oh, I love that. All right, looks like we're out of cash at the moment, I think. So we're going to have to uh, probably get a little loan going. So that way we can put down some more trees and then start working on future rides. We're also adjusting prices here. So that way we don't have to take out a loan as quickly. Wow, the jumper there. That uh, high flyer or sky flyer or whatever it is, the bungee cord thing really has a lot of people there. But unfortunately, it doesn't have a big throughput. It can't take a lot of people at a time. But fortunately, the roller coaster can, so with the adjusted prices of that, uh, we should be able to do that just fine. You'll notice some of the names that I'm um, naming some of the rides here to try to give them a little personality. So that way I can feel like I actually did something rather than just plopping them down for maximum profit and actually make them a little um, more customized. So that way everybody feels like, you know, the, the park actually cares. Here at this corporation, we care for you. Right, kids? Right. Okay. So, now we've uh, done it. We've completed the apprentice level and now we're on to entrepreneur before we get to tycoon so that's an easy start for us just a roller coaster and a couple of rides did us uh, wonders we still haven't opened any of the shops at the moment but later we will uh, definitely do that and the park rating will skyrocket and so will profits as everybody will have something to eat and of course it'll attract more people to the park as our rating will go up too mixing in here some sugar pines and some oak and some other bushes and we'll eventually put in some uh more color in here with the red bushes that are available which are also present on the outside of the map so really trying to blend things here very nicely things are looking really good so far and uh, I'm proud of my uh, ability to link things together we're taking out a loan money is plummeting of course as we're doing all sorts of crazy building at the start of course you want to build 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 because that's what brings in the money and that's true to any building game of course you want to spend money before you make money uh, so that way you can get some basic services down and we're going to make a nice little viewport here for our uh, people to kind of go out and take a look at the beautiful pond that's there. And of course we'll build a roller coaster on the outside of that water here very shortly so it'll look real good. We're going to put some benches down outside the food courts as well as some garbage cans to start taking care of some of the trash that we'll see in the park. And of course as we continue to build the park it's a good idea to do that over time. So as you expand the park and add rides, it's a good idea to also go back and add garbage cans, seating, and lighting whenever you can. And it'll make for a good, uh, really a good experience for the visitors. Taking out a loan and then adding to our marketing budget now. We're going to attract some more people to the park by giving them a discount on the junior coaster that we just built. Two coasters in the park so far and a couple of thrill rides that are not too bad. Uh, they are bringing in some money. We're going to go for a gentle ride next. Bumper cars are now down. Excellent. And now those are connected up pretty good. Pretty easy to build a queue in this game. A uh, very short queue for the bumper cars, though it'll end up being a quite prop... Well, I think it'll be a profitable and popular ride, but it, luckily it doesn't take up too much space and it's not too complicated and there's really no danger to operating it. So luckily there's that. We need a carousel, though, in this classic park. And we'll plop one down there, too. And we'll try to connect the queue up around the other side towards the uh, main pathway. And that should attract some more guests as well. We'll be adding some more trees and adding some more decorations. That's probably one of my favorite things to do is add all the fencing and stuff. When you start adding fences and benches and all the trees and such, that's when you know you're kind of truly done with an area. But these types of games you're never done with. You're always building, always improving. There's much more to do. Building stations, for example, on top of the... Uh, roller coasters and building little seating areas and building shade. You can get incredibly detailed, even in this game. Even though it's from the early 2000s, it is a masterpiece. And though it's not uh, flawless, of course, it still is highly recommended and uh, just tons of fun. I <laughs> Even watching myself now, I just want to go back and play it as I'm doing this commentary. Uh, but doing this was a ton of fun, I must say, already. 
Now, we're adding a lot more stuff to the park in terms of employees. We're adding a lot more uh, janitors to clean up the trash, maintenance personnel to repair rides and deal with uh, vandals, security to, pr uh, to try to stop vandals from doing that, as well as a few entertainers to get that rating up. The park rating's doing pretty good so far. There's nothing too difficult that we can't handle at the moment. We're painting some of the queue lines, too, to make them look a little nicer. And we're also uh, going to be adding another ride now. We're going to try to do some mini golf here, but that doesn't really uh, seem to be a good area for that. So we're going to try to find another ride to fit in. Eventually, we'll put this parachute down somewhere. It looks like in the lower right corner here. And that'll have a line that loops around in front of the roller coaster. And it should have a pretty lengthy queue. This, uh, I think, is part of the DLC. I think it might be a part of the wild DLC. So we're just going to make a straight queue there. And it doesn't really have a very large throughput, but it should be a pretty exciting ride. So if anybody gets to the back of the park, they can ride that as well. So that's right on the main line. So hopefully anybody who doesn't get off the uh, main road might be attracted to that ride. More detailing with trees, too. Again, every time we put down a tree, it's adding to the park's rating and also the ride's rating, which, of course, when the rides increase, that also improves the park's rating, too. And you can get all sorts of different awards, such as um, the award for... Uh, getting uh, your park to be tidy, for having a beautiful park, for having a safe park, and that really uh, helps to boost your rating as well. Getting more people in, more money means more roller coasters, and everyone can have a good time and get behind that, right? More trees and flower uh, pots being added, more uh, flower gardens being added next to those roads. It's looking really good. This is uh, much more complete than it was. It's really amazing how quickly a park can come together. This took place over the course of about an hour, and the footage is sped up to about 275%. Uh, so it's going to be about uh, you know 25 minutes of, uh, of footage in that uh, over an hour time. So let's see what other things that we can add here. I'm going to add some bushes between the trees. There we go. To really add to that nice, uh, beautiful main path. And of course, there's many different ways that split off and rides that are connected to that. So I think our guests are going to really enjoy uh, going down that main route and hopping on some rides nearby. We're going to try to do something a little unusual here that I've been experimenting with him when I played Parkitect, which is a lot of fun. I mentioned that game several times, so I'd highly recommend all three of those games. Roller Coaster, Tycoon 3, Parkitect, and of course Planet Coaster. I'm going to put a little bit of a wall here to kind of separate the garden from the ride behind it, but still so you can see it. So it seems like a separate area, but you'll be able to enjoy the thrill ride and uh, hear all the screams of all the passengers and such if you take a seat in the uh, initial uh, area there. Going to add a little bit of uh, bushes, some top topiary, and we're going to add a little decoration to that and finish that area up quite nicely. I think I goof it up at one point. I have to come back when we do some more fencing, but it looks pretty good so far. Going to add a little more fencing around this center area. One thing that really helps the park come together is by interestingly separating it. So making it look more complete by adding uh, areas that uh, really keep people on the pathways and keep them out of uh, forested areas that are just for looks and for wildlife and nature to kind of grow birds to visit and such. So they kind of populate the area and it'll look nice. Some red trees now. It looks like these are, I think, red uh, maples or oaks, actually. And uh, yeah, those are going to look good. A nice pop of color now. Actually kind of reminds me of the start of fall. And we're getting into yet another autumn in real life, so this is kind of a nice little um, vision for this. This is really exciting. I like watching all of this go on, even from my perspective. Of course, uh, you, there's a million ways to complete these scenarios, so there's really no uh, right or wrong moves when it comes to uh, completing the scenarios, so long as you complete the objectives. But of course, uh, making money is always a necessity, so that way we can put down rides. There's some nice space there between the food court and the bumper cars, too. Uh, that's going to take a smaller thrill ride, so we'll have to adjust our uh, marketing, or rather our research budget once we are completed here. At this point, I've realized that I need to turn on all of the uh, food court items and buildings. So now we have two functioning food courts, or at least we will once they're all turned on. Hey, a dinosaur head. I can get behind that. That's nice. Good. All right, so it looks like a lot of people are coming for hamburgers. A lot of people are coming for uh, the... Um, Drinks, too. We'll add some more decorations and make sure we've got all the buildings fully functioning. Now, this is really starting to look like a park. We got some tall structures. We got some roller coasters. We're going to need another roller coaster, though. One is just unfortunately not enough. So, we're going to build our roller coaster somewhere between the parachutes and the other uh, slingshot ride. 
but not without decorations first. We're going to make the food court area look really nice. What a pleasant little area for all of our people to come and visit. I like how everything looks rather large. The food court area is a pretty big area, but yet it's uh, kind of just a small pit stop off the uh, other pathway that's just below it. We're going to add some more benches and some other places for people to sit down. We also need to add some more toilets, but I'm going to finish up every area that doesn't really have a lot of room for um, a ride to fit in very shortly. It looks like there's a lot of tree options in this game too. And with all the DLCs, you can of course separate things by genre, whether it's fantasy or western or whatnot. And then of course between soaked or wild, if you want to add some exotic plants for the animals or uh, maybe for a, se a separate section of the park to really make it look good. Okay, well we're going to add another ride here, I think. I think it's time for maybe another coaster. I'm going to try to find the precise one that we're looking for. And I think we'll look for uh, what I was trying to do as well as trying to make a pre-made coaster. But uh, there's you actually have to unlock several parks before you do that. The game's kind of forcing you to learn how to build a coaster. So we'll build our uh, spinning coaster now right over here. And we'll see how it goes. Now the final design of this will change and it'll actually improve. When we first finish this, it'll get a medium, medium low which means medium excitement, medium intensity, and a low nausea rating. But eventually it'll get a high rating, or a very high rating, one of the two, for excitement. And it'll get a lot more passengers with my uh, redesign, which is good. Building something and trying to get it open and then redesigning it, not a bad plan. So long as you make some money and make a change to it, people think that it's a whole new ride. This will take me a little bit of time to figure out, as of course there's also sections of this ride where the car can be adjusted to where it can... Uh, face forward backwards or spin freely and I think you get the most bonus if you go down hills backwards and then try to have it spin freely everywhere else but we'll see it all come together here shortly we're gonna get close to the pond here but the final design will go over the pond and it'll look really nice we're also gonna try some subterranean stuff it's really good to make tunnels this land is a little too flat to build through naturally so we're gonna try to do some canyon runs here where we go down into the ground and then uh, we'll cut right through it. Looks pretty good. Yeah, so going around uh, through low spots is good because then you can have the track come through it towards the end when it needs to go closer to the ground. But our initial station is a little higher than that. We're at about, uh, I think, uh, I would imagine two, well, probably about five meters. I'm thinking that in uh, Park Attack, but as you can see, our swing back is going to take a little bit of effort. It's kind of a weird angle to work with, so I'm trying to figure out since the game doesn't indicate where it is on the map, you kind of have to eye it up. Uh, some games now give a little circle to show you exactly what grid space or square that it's in. So we're going to bring this back a little bit more around that drop and then swing back to the station with an S-bend, I think, that we'll do uh, towards here. And it should uh, connect at some point. We also need to go a little lower, but the final design will be very good. This is me kind of getting a little bit more learning in for the initial coaster uh, design, which makes me excited for bigger, co co big, big coasters. I want to see a wooden coaster. I really want to build a big one in one of the other maps. So I think the quote unquote dynamite dunes area would be perfect for a runaway mine coaster or really a wooden coaster. The uh, woody coasters are just fantastic and really makes me miss uh, Bumbly Beach. Really, uh, really cool to be able to see that coming back. Okay, let's add our test. We're going to build some unique little. Uh, queues. I love when the queues can go over the park pathways. The uh, exit uh, line is going to go over the path and swing back around next to the bumper car. So that's going to look really cool. And the queue is going to go under the station and we're going to build a nice little station uh, here too where we decorate it with a roof and some walls. And of course it's not going to be, it's going to be mediocre at best like me, right guys? But it's going to be at least a little more uh, I'm going to put a little more effort into it. We extended the queue out to near the food court where there's going to be a lot of traffic. And you're going to see me redesign this a little bit uh, more. What I should do is build a smaller ramp and then the stairs. But uh, as you can see, this one didn't quite... Uh, there's a little bit of a gap. That's what we call a lawsuit there, kids. So connecting it this way might be a little bit better. We're going to put the uh, stairs there. Then swing around and then we'll put a ramp. There we go, at the bottom. So that way people can get up or rather get out of that ride. Very good. All right, well, that ride is uh, looking pretty good. We painted it. Uh, it's going to get extended again. I want to make mention that it's going to go over the pond, and it's going to look much, much better towards the end. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get a bunch of trees placed down. 
and fill in all the spaces. We still have room for another thrill ride. We're going to make our way up to uh, a tycoon here very shortly. Oh, and there we go. We actually just uh, made our way past Entrepreneur, and now we got to do the tycoon level, which requires us to have like $100,000 worth of rides inside. The way to do that would probably be to finish higher level research, delete the other coasters, and then put in bigger, more expensive coasters. I think when we finish this park, we're at about maybe $70,000 in uh, park value. And what we want to do is get to 100000 So if you're going to make up that gap of... Uh, you know, thirty thousand, forty, fifty thousand dollars could be put right into coasters if you needed to. So building some big extended coasters would be a good idea. But there is not a lot of space on this park, and if you were going to build a coaster, it would probably have to be. You'd have to actually probably delete the uh, red one that you're looking at now and the original coaster that was here, the one with the airplanes, and try to build a very large coaster over there somewhere. In fact, the gap's not too big. Uh, like I said, about thirty thousand uh, dollars is what we're short of the goal. And in order to do that, we just have to build like a big coaster over there. And I think you could probably, if you made it custom, and if you made another couple of thrill rides that were very expensive, that goal would be no problem. I want to spend a little time decorating now. This really brings the park together by, again, sep interestingly enough, separating it by building bushes and, and flower beds and stuff. And uh, little hedges, as you would think, uh, would kind of make it seem more separate. But it actually makes it look more realistic and more... Uh, complete that somebody cared for it rather than just pathways down in the middle of a lawn there's actually you know fences and hedges and uh, benches and garbage cans and things that can keep people uh, you know entertained and something to look at while you're walking between areas it's always good to have a tree or a, uh, something to to kind of do uh, uh, I guess to admire as you're walking around I don't know Basically, what I'm trying to say is that, of course, more decorations means more things to uh, bring up your park rating and uh, gives more accommodations for guests, so that way their happiness is higher, too. Whether you're playing Planet Coaster or whether you're playing Park Architect or whether you're playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, benches and flower beds and fences and pathways are kind of all part of the deal. All done a little differently, but uh, this definitely looks very good, and I like it the most. Well, we're about done here, and I can't wait to show you the redesign of the final coaster of that uh, one that we just built, the spinning coaster. Um, and actually, probably not a bad coaster to have in such a very small area. The kitty coaster, you know, the slash the junior coaster, the roller, the uh, uh, little airplane roller coaster, and the uh, other small coaster, the spinning one, are very good for this park. We can fit in a lot of coasters in a very small area, and that means more throughput, that means more money, and that means a higher park rating because people have something to do. All right, one last thing to put in. Unfortunately, the fun house is not going to work. So we're going to uh, try to put in the uh, little zipper now. That'll go in towards the end here. And uh, by the time you see the park at the end, we're going to have a lot more completed. So we're going to do a few things off screen, not too much. And then you'll be able to see the final park design, which is just going to be absolutely thrilling. I want to play more of this game too. But again, I highly recommend that you get this one uh, for yourself and start playing. And if you've never played these types of games before, now's the time. All right, let's see how the park ended up. All right, and here we have it, the completed park, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we added our little extension to the roller coaster here for the spinning coaster. It looks really nice. We also added a station here just to the other side of it, and I'm really proud about actually building something like that. It doesn't look that great, but it is my first type of building like that, and it looks good. Of course, we have all of our detailed, all the red plants and such that I made mention of, and of course, our little coasters here looking good. We can see we spray-painted some areas with uh, rock around the uh, park pond and the uh, elevated areas, and of course, all the little plants and such that really bring things together, and it looks quite good. We're profitable, we're making some good money, and if we uh, want to hit that tycoon goal, all we got to do is remove some coasters here and build some bigger ones. Lots of space to expand if we do that, but really, overall, a great experience, and it looks quite nice. Again, just to give you a look at all the extra little details here, plenty more we could do to this park to add details and customization and theming, but overall, in this very small area, not too bad. In fact, we all have probably built some coasters that are about as big as half this space. So it's not a big spot to start with, but it definitely is something very nice to start with indeed. And of course, very small spaces, but very big possibilities. 
such as in this game. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure on the way out you go ahead and click or tap that like button to let me know you'd like to see more of this game. And thank you very much for subscribing. You guys have been amazing, and I hope to see you more often on the channel for more building games, more survival games, and much more. You guys have been astounding. So thank you very much for all the support, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the park and the build and the game, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Yay.